Hello. Hi. <laughs> here. Yay, we made it. Shoo. We were pretty risque. We didn't even do any testing. I know. Well, I came in and I was like, yep, it works for me. I'm going to go have dinner now. <laughs> I told I told Rich, I said, then you might be nervous, but I said, I think it'll be fine. This oh my God. I was a total crazy. nervous wreck. I, I told him, I said, I said, Bindu gets worried that our technology is not going to work. See, I, I have to, I have to admit, I don't get so worried because I've got Ricardo. So <laughs> <laughs> he fixes it for me. Cause can you, he, can you clone him? <laughs> I know he's giving me a thumbs up. He said, everything looks good. Awesome. Thank you so much for, Ooh, look at the fireworks. <laughs> Ooh, how'd that happen? Oh, cause does it happen with thumbs up? Yes, I think so. I did the oh thumbs up and I did the fireworks. <laughs> That's so fun. It didn't do it that time. But it That's didn't, fun. yeah. Oh, we've got Donna's on. Donna had back surgery. Was it a couple of days ago? Hey, yes. Brenda. Hi, Brenda. Yay. We've got all kinds of fun people on. Diana's here. Laura's here. Hi, everybody. Hello, everyone. So good to see you all. I was we were just talking. I was a nervous wreck. Erin is the pro. She's got this. <laughs> Only because I have Ricardo. <laughs> I have so. no clue what we're doing tonight. But if you can hear me and you can see me, I am in great shape. <laughs> I love it. I think this is fun. I, I don't is. think other than like a virtual retreat or something, I've never gotten to do like crafty with a friend. So oh, I'm I have so excited. I haven't either, actually. I just, uh, I I barely can go live on my own. <laughs> you worry too much about it. The more you do it, the, you know, and everybody, the good thing is, is everybody knows it's not, especially live, it's not always perfect. So you get what you get. And, you know, <laughs> it is what it is. And most of the time, everybody who's on here will tell you, I don't even finish a card normally. It's like, oh, we just did a technique tonight. So... I'll That's finish what I'm it saying. Later. Yeah. Brenda's right. You're a natural. You're the pro. And I'm the one who's like, ah, save me, help me. And Sweta's <laughs> over there pushing me. Go, go, go live. What are you doing? You're slacking off. Go. <laughs> <laughs> it, well, for me, you know, it was all those times in like middle school when I got in trouble for talking and I got sent to the hall. I knew it would come in handy one day. <laughs> so, you know, if you just talk and laugh at yourself, it's fine. I can laugh at myself all day, no problem, because I'll be alone. Nobody can see me or hear me. <laughs> okay, so here's, you need to, a lot of these, a lot of people that are on are friends of mine, and they come to the retreat and stuff. So tell them about you and tell them about your company. Oh, that is, what, you're going to put me on the spot like that? You didn't even tell me. <laughs> Did you not think we were going to do this? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> well then, thank you so much, friends. Uh, hello, everyone. My name is Bindu. Apart from joking, laughing, I love Aaron. Thank you for being with me here today, Aaron, and all of you friends and fans of Aaron. Thank you for being here. Uh, as I said, my name is Bindu. I own Crafty Meraki. It's very. It's been a very interesting year so far because uh, I've been trying to go live and my lives haven't been going well. That's Aww. why you're hearing me joke about all these lives and everything. But I'm excited to be here. I am also very excited to share some of my new release products with you guys. And Erin, can I talk about the new stuff maybe coming to NCR from Crafty Mouth? Um. Uh, I, okay, go ahead. I'm I, only gonna say that we. I am super excited. This is the first time I am. Crafty Meraki is a super sponsor. To co yeah. quote Aaron's words, you guys will see exclusive products from us in your swag bag. So if you're here and you haven't yet registered. You're going to see maybe a hint of some of the new product, exclusive product that you'll get. So if you haven't signed up, go ahead and sign up. We're going to be sharing some, actually not some, loads and loads of tips, techniques. Um, I'm very passionate about this, but we're going to be sharing lots of techniques today. 
But going back to NCR, I am super excited. Um, we'll, I'm still designing whatever it is that you're going to see, which shall remain unnamed. <laughs> But here's what's exciting. So you are designing something special just for us and everybody's going to get it in swag. And then we're actually partnering with another company who is going to give swag. And then you'll be able to take it and we're going to feature it at the Card Cafe in Make and Takes so that you can learn how to use these products and then go home and you'll know what to do. So yes. So I mean, exciting. it's like crazy. So we are so excited and so grateful that you're doing that. Like it, I'm just like giddy when I, I was chatting with the other company the other day and I'm like, Oh, and Bindu's doing this and crafty Miraki's doing this. And they it's said, fun. Oh, yeah. So that, I mean, it is like, I'm just so it's excited. It's like a match made in heaven. So just what, um, whatever my product is, was was good on its own but Aaron went out and upped the ante like 10 times oh my goodness so now you're gonna get everything you need to create on your own and have inspiration and ideas and products for days yes so I'm super not, excited that's the thing it won't just be one you're going to get something that then you can go home and make uh, what like 50 more cards, 50, maybe even more, you know, yeah. it, it, it's going to be lot, like I said, for days, for days yeah. on, and you will have incredible ideas, inspiration products to craft on. So enough yeah. about me. <laughs> <laughs> well, for you can just go on. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put it back right back to you. So, uh, we picked, I think Erin picked some products that she wanted to work with, right? I did. I said, what should we do? And then I turned right around and said, how about we do this? <laughs> and Bindu said, okay. <laughs> so, it, you know, it was yeah, good. So I'm just looking between my camera and over there only because, you know, Erin's the pro. She's got help, but I don't have help. Yeah. I've, I'm looking at my uh, screen to make sure if there's any questions, anybody talking to me, I can answer back. That's the only reason why I'm looking over here and over there both. I'm trying, okay? I'm juggling things, but I'm trying to answer questions if there are any. However, okay. when um, I think, Erin, I'm going to switch our cameras just to the desk view whenever we start crafting, okay? Okay. Are we ready now or do you want to? I'm ready. Okay, so I'm going to switch to just our cameras let's see where are we where are we who said i saw someone says i see cute little birds on on my desk i did i, I already i told you i was already i kind of thought about in my mind what i'd like to do so knowing how long it takes to copic color i did color these adorable little birds Oh, that's awesome. Aren't they cute? What is that set called? I just got it from you the other day. This one is the Sweet Tweets. It's this one. Let me zoom out just a little bit so you can see it. This okay. is the Sweet Tweet. Oh, now we're... There we go. Sorry. I fell in love. I have to tell you, I got to figure out which way to go on this. This little birdhouse and these little birds are so stinking cute. So, oh, look, and over here, there's a little birdhouse. And look at the sun in the clouds. I thought it was so cute. And then your little sentiments on here. I just love them. So that one, it, I pulled that out and I went ahead and stamped it. And I copy colored it because I knew we didn't have a ton of time. So that's what, but then... I have a new die cutting, a new die cutting machine. It's my Anna Griffin and I love it, but it has a magnetic sheet, which is really strong and it messed up one of my birds. It pulled the die when I, when I flipped it over. So I do need to quickly um, color one. So that's good. You know, you can see me color it. So I thought I would use, here's what been doing. And I talked about 
she has these new and Ben do jump in here if you would rather do this part. No worries, um, go on. Ben, well, you might be a better. Why don't you talk about your ESPs before <laughs> we do before we go on? All right, sounds good. I am gonna do my best. So today we are going to focus on our brand new product, which are called Effortless Shimmer Paper. Um, this is essentially a like a pattern paper pack. Um, it's a set of each booklet is a set of four different patterns and each pattern is repeated six times so you get a total of 24 sheets four patterns repeated six times these are six by eight and a half inch tall six inches wide eight and a half inches tall um so i i was telling when aaron was watching the other day but if you were to cut it right down the middle you would be left with exactly two a2 size panels ready for your card making so brenda actually taught me that trick so thank you brenda <laughs> but <clears throat> this one is um we have five new designs actually uh i'm missing one but we have five new designs this one's called luminous leaf this one's arabesque this one's floral filigree and i think you know what i think i picked this one too the party prism surprisingly aaron also has the same one i promise we did not discuss this earlier we said esp of choice whichever one you want seriously <laughs> so this one is the party prism uh as i said this is the one that i have chosen and also aaron chose the same one so we will be working with these the great thing the last thing i'll say the great thing about these is these are toner sheets. All you have to do is use some decofoil, Thermoweb decofoil, put it on one of these sheets and run it through your laminator to have gorgeous foiled patterns ready in seconds, in minutes, <laughs> without having the fuss of glimmer machine and uh, all the, if you don't have a glimmer machine, but you have a laminator, Foiling is now effortless for you. So that's why these are called effortless shimmer papers. And as I said, we have five new designs. But Erin, I'm going to go grab some foiled sheets to show. Why don't you take over? Okay. So here's I will I'm going here's my disclaimer. <laughs> Bindu probably knows way more about foiling than than I do with um now I'm using a make machine and I have to tell you um what the little bit I know has really been from just kind of playing a little bit but also I did watch a couple of videos from Nancy and foiling snobs. And if you if you watch Nancy stamps or foiling snobs she is the queen of foiling she is absolutely the one that you should go and like follow and watch her videos and so i'm still learning i am not a pro so and i will tell you i do not get perfect results every time so i'm learning but she does say that she thinks the meek machine hands down is the best foiler some laminators if you use a laminating machine um, you have to let them heat up to the highest setting for like 30 minutes for them to get hot enough. So, um, keep that in mind. And, um, but I like my meat machine, but I, but like I said, I do not get perfect results all the time. The one thing that Nancy says to do, and so I'm trying to do it and I forget is to always have a little brush. And she always says, dusty, dusty. And she recommends that you dust your sheet off first because there can be like micro like dust particles and that you should dust it off and then dust off your foil before you send it through. Um, but Bindu did have a recommendation the other day, a tip that I saw that I had never done. And um, she recommended after you run it through the machine, then quickly while it's still hot, run it through your dye machine. And I had never heard that before. So I thought that was great advice. Um, so I this one I thought was really pretty. And since Bindu had pulled out the, the other one, and I might still go back to this one. I just wanted to try this one. And I thought we'd go ahead. Here's the thing. You can send it through and, and laminate it and foil it. Not laminate it. You can foil it just like this. And then you'll have the white background. 
but you can also ink the background. And here's something that I love about Catherine Cooler inks, and I'm going to go ahead and use these. This is, and this is my new favorite rainbows um, right now. I'm using Pucker Up. Let me find it. Do si do, um, chiffon, in the park, cummerbund, serenade, and drive-in. And I don't know if you can see all those on the screen. That's my new favorite rainbow that I'm using right now. And I'm kind of, I've been kind of in a rainbow mood. And I think um, we did talk about, besides using the ESPs, obviously we wanted to focus on those because they're new and it's fun and exciting. Um, I said, how about we use the birthday, what's it called? The Slimline Birthday Tag, I think. Let's see. It looks like this. And I already have the birthday. It's real. I've been dying to use it. I got it um, a couple of weeks ago. And it looks like this. And you have the tag and what is this? Happy wishes and the birthday die. So it's slimline. So this ESP is perfect. Also, you can get, I think, two slimlines out of it too. Um, so I really wanted to use this. I thought it would be really cute. And look, earlier I was practicing just a little bit and I did do that one. Isn't it cute? I got to figure out which way to go on the camera here. Um really cute. So here's what I wanted to show. You can ink your um, paper. Now, I'm sure you can do it afterwards, but I've been hesitant because I sometimes I get a little aggressive in my ink blending and I didn't want any of the foil to possibly flake off. I haven't tried doing that. So I wanted to see if I could ink blend first and then run it through the laminator and it worked just fine. That's how I did that birthday. So I'm going to ink this up just kind of like I did. And here's what I love about foam ink pads. This is, these are my Catherine Puller inks. You can, because it's kind of squishy, you can just go direct to the paper and you don't have to mess with doing very many blending brushes. I will use blending brushes just to kind of fade it into each other, but especially when we're alive and we're trying to go quickly, I'm going to go direct ink to paper and, and this paper, look how, how well it soaks up the ink. And then I might just softly blend some on the side. I don't know. Sometimes you will get a, a straight line, but we're going quickly. So I'm not going to worry that much about it tonight. Um, and I am careful because it's a, a reactive ink. If you're not careful, you can drag some of that color in um, using a lighter color. So I'm going to try not to overlap the pink because I don't want to contaminate my, my ink pad there. So I might go right here and then ink blend it together. And um, you can do that. Bindu, jump in here anytime. Sorry, I was trying to give you some space because if I um, turn off the one of your cameras, then we can't hear you. So I want to give you. The... Well, you are more than welcome to turn off my face. <laughs> <laughs> I know if I do that, then the... there you go the camera the audio isn't working sorry so oh i'm gonna keep you on my audio is not working if you do that if i switch off the face camera yes your oh. face camera then your audio doesn't work we can't hear you i wonder you. why maybe ricardo can can i don't know if he knows why it would do that but we'll see we'll i see think your your know. camera is attached to your face camera i mean your audio i don't know Maybe if he's watching, he'll come tell me. So mm -hmm. now I'm going to go in with a little bit more here and we'll see. So I'm probably going to have a line. And that's the thing. I'm just going quickly. If I wanted to do a nice, soft, faded line, um, I could ink blend it with brushes. But um, I'm just going in directly because it's so much faster. And I just want to show everybody that you can ink it first. And then run it through. And how much I love the foam ink pads that you can just go direct to paper. And how pretty is this rainbow? I, oh, love, I love these that. colors. Love, love that. these colors together. Okay, Sorry. so then I, I just go through and wipe it off quickly. Like that.
I actually like what you're doing. Love it. The the going the directing to paper or doing the yeah. rainbow. I love that. It's I love that about you know it's not easy to do that with a regular ink pad. Um, but that's one of the fantastic benefits of the Catherine Pooler or a foam ink pad. It works e perfectly. I'm trying to figure out what paper I want to use. Let's use this pretty one, this pretty blue sparkly one that I have. We'll see how it looks with this. Might not like it as much. Maybe silver would look better. We'll see. We'll see. So what are you working on? I thought I would do, actually, I wanted to use the um, layering stencil. This one's called Blooming Halo. Ooh. I wanted to use the layering stencil um, to make a pattern. Oh, that would be beautiful. And I thought I would then die cut the word birthday out of it. Ooh, I love that. I love, I think layering stencils are probably like one of my most favorite things now. Like I never want to use a layered stamp set again in my life. <laughs> if we can get by with that, that that's all right with me. Let's see if I'm successful or if I scrap it all together and just go for something else. <laughs> okay. So what I'm using here, if you've never used a, a mink machine or a laminator to foil, you need a carrier sheet. And I think you can even use copy paper. Like I said, I'm not an expert, so don't quote me, but, uh, or parchment paper. These are the actual Heidi swap. I got one big 12 by 12 when I got my mink machine and I cut it in half. And so this is one of the ones. So it's longer. So it will fit this entire sheet. And now I need to cut a piece of um, foil to fit. And there is something else. If you, you know, if you have a glimmer machine or you've seen a glimmer machine, ask me how I know this. Um, there's a difference between like a hot foil machine foil and laminator um, foil, like um, thermoweb foil. Um, they're two different kinds that, because I'm guessing they work with different heat settings. So when I first got my glimmer machine, I had therm, you know, thermo web deco foil and I could not get it to work. And I did. And then I learned that <laughs> you, had to have, you had to have a different kind of foil, darn it. It's a different kind of foil, not the yes. same. And I did not know that. So, okay. I'm dusting it off. And dust. Now, do you dust your foil off? I don't actually. I saw you do that last time, but I just never quite remembered. Well, that's what Nancy always says, dusty, dusty. So I need all the help I can get. But you all, <laughs> it looks like you always get, I need some of your, you definitely need to share some of your tips and tricks um, because I need some. I, yeah, I think I had, I used to have trouble too uh, foiling. But that tip does help. So foil, I always say that foiling needs two things, the heat and the pressure both. So when you try to foil, uh, it helps. Thermoweb folks, I was saying that the la last time, but Thermoweb folks set me up and said, you know, if you run it through your die cut machine, the little bit of extra pressure after the heat will definitely help. So that definitely helps. Try that That's today. That's a great tip. If it helps you, yeah. Okay. So I put my mink machine on a five. Um, sometimes I almost wonder if it can get too hot. I don't know if that's a thing or not, um, but we'll see. So, but it's been heating up since before we started. So this should definitely be warmed up. I also think that the mink uh, does, I heard you say that earlier, it does definitely do a better job than the laminator, I think. However, the laminator run with the die cut um, run right after does seem to help quite a bit. Okay, well, I'm gonna run mine through too, just to see. Yep.
And I think that making a hot mess. Sorry, go ahead, Erin. Sometimes, you know, you think it's got wrinkles in it and you think, oh, it's not going to look good. And then you open it up and those wrinkles didn't seem to make a difference. So I don't, you know, <laughs> sometimes I don't know. I'm Whatever going to run mine good. through the, the um, machine, dye machine right away too. And we'll see if that helps. Okay. That looks so good. Now, the thing is, a lot of people might not see it. I do have like, I think I may have had a couple of wrinkles. But the thing is, I don't think anybody will ever see me. Like, you probably can't even see it on camera. Oh, there you might be able to see a little bit of it that it didn't catch. But, I mean, it's so, that's so pretty. That is very, very pretty. I love that <clears throat> one. Love, love it. it. Have to use love that. It. I, and I had never heard that either until Bindu said that in her live the other day. And um, so I've been trying it. Look how cute that is. I love it. Um, I see the mink only uses heat setting three. Uh, is yours using a heat setting three, Bindu? Yes. Using yes, it? it is because, and I, I, will, I think I need to repeat uh, some of the things here because ThermaWeb folks have tested every single laminator foil you know uh, make machine type of um, technology and they have come up with recommended settings for each of the machines so if you're using a laminator like this one a scotch they recommend using the setting five if you're using a mink they recommend using the setting three if you go to ThermoWeb, their website, they have a list of all the uh, machines and the recommended settings for those machines. So you should oh, definitely know. check it out. Oh, that is good to know. Yep. Um, this foil, Anne, I think this foil, let me get it in camera, I believe is Picket Fence Studios, but I think... If you look on ThermoWeb or even Bindu, do you have something like this? It's got little stars in it. The speckles in it. Uh, the only one that I have is a silver stars. It actually Ooh, is silver I love that with one too. stars on it. Yes. Yes. I love the silver one. And this one just happens to be blue. And then also ThermoWeb, you know, they have all kinds too on their, um, on their website. So, um, you know, you just have to go look and find, I mean, they're all beautiful. Seriously. So, because I can't even, that is, it almost doesn't even look blue. In person it does, but on camera it, it doesn't. It just looks silvery. That is so pretty. Um, okay. So, I just wanted to show the direct ink to paper right there. So, now we're, this is where we're going to see how things go. I'm going to trim this down. So I definitely was thinking I would try a slimline card and it's now been so long since I've done a slimline card. Um, is Brenda still on here or Bindu? It, it's three by eight and a half, right? Three and a half, uh, three and a half oh. by eight and a half. Oh, it's three and a half. Okay. See, it's been so long since I've made one. I couldn't even rem remember. I could and, not either. It and took me some a while. people, some people go four by nine, which is That's crazy. True. That's a That's really true. big one. Okay. That is true. So, there we go. Let's do this one. And I'm trying to think. Now, this is about as far as I got in flaming. And I colored my little birds. Maybe I need to color my other bird while I think, although I can't do two things at once like that. Because this is the bird that I messed up, um, the dye machine kind of messed it up. So I'll color him real fast. And what I'll do is I'll zoom in so you can kind of see more what I'm doing. And I am going to put this on here so it'll hold it. 
and I'll pull this off. Okay. There he is. And I just pulled out um, B00, 02, 04, 06, 18. I always kind of go crazy on my colors. Um, for this little image, you do not need this many colors. All right, Erin, I'm going to jump in here really quick, and I'm going to turn off yep. my camera so people can see your Copic coloring. Um, I just foiled this or ran it through the mink machine, and I'm now just going to run it quickly through my die cut machine while it's still a little warm. <clears throat> Okay, so there is my foiled pattern. Oh my gosh, it came out perfect. Yep, I actually love this tip and trick. So as I said, all I did was I ran it through the mink. I used the, this one's called Enchanted Rose. It's a pink iridescent um, shiny foil. Um, so I just ran it through the mink and then I literally took the whole entire carrier sheet right along with the foil, ran it through the die cut machine without any dies on it. So that I added some extra pressure on it. There you go. That is stunning. I love that one. What's that foil? Enchanted Rose. Oh, that's beautiful. It's got its own rainbow it, like hue to it. It does. I can see that uh, the way the light's hitting it, it looks really stunning. Oh my gosh. I love that one. Yep. I'm going to switch off my main camera and I'll let you color. I'll be right back, Erin. Okay. So this is, let's see, what color am I using now? I'll try to keep it in the screen. It's hard to do that a little bit. B18. And these images are so little, you do not need to use all the colors that I always tend to go a little overboard. And then we'll go to B06. Can you see him a little bit or is he in the screen? Just the little flicks to blend it. And it'll go zero four, zero two, and zero zero. What do you guys think? Had you seen the ESPs before? Um, aren't they fantastic? Oh my gosh, I love them. It's just a matter of practicing the foil. Like I said, I am definitely not an expert yet. I needed all of Bindu's tips. All right, Aaron, quick check. Can you hear me, see me, everything okay? Yes, I can. Perfect, 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 perfect. Okay, so I just die cut the same tag that Erin's using from this foiled sheet. I think I can actually, yep, I do. Actually, I can get another one out of it. Can you see? Look, I already cut I know, one. that's what I was thinking. Yep, I can cut another one, but for now, I've got this one cut and ready to go. And I wanna show one more quick thing while Erin is coloring. I use the Blooming Halo stencil. I, it's a layering stencil that has five layers in it. That's what it would look like if you used all layers. I just used the one, the layer number one. That's it, just one layer of stencil. And I did some ink blending, rainbow ink blending on my own while Erin was um, uh, foiling and ink pad the colors on the uh, foil on the ESP. 
So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to go die cut the word birthday out of my ink blended roses. And I will be right back. Um, that was really pretty. <laughs> I wanted that when I didn't buy that one. Now I need to go buy those flowers too. <laughs> I think that was on my list and then I didn't get it. Was it? Okay. I love that. And I love that, that you use just the one layer. You can just use one layer for it and it, and it looks great. Yeah, I did not. Um, you were going so fast. I had to catch up and keep up. <laughs> That's only because I started before we started. <laughs> I was worried that I wouldn't get anything done. You had me worried. I was like, she's the pro. How am I going to catch up? <laughs> mm -mm. You keep saying that. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got. Okay, so there's my stenciled, and now I've got my die cut out of it. Ooh. What do you think? I think you need a drop shadow. With I it. think so too. I was just thinking that. I think I need maybe a black or a red. Yes. Yep. Do we have any questions? Did Hi, I Hi, Roberta. Hey, Barda. I'm I'm sorry, Bindu, what were you going to say? Oh, Star Patrick says yeah. I should use black. Okay, let me go find some black uh, cardstock. <laughs> I was just checking to see if there's any comments or questions. I just use one or two colors on these little tiny leaves and things. Um, you do not need to go overboard on those. They're so teeny tiny. Okay. I think this time when I run this through my die cutting machine, I'm going to put it face up or face yeah. down cutting into normally i do not cut into the magnetic mat um you it normally holds the dies but i do not want my die to slip again so i'm not going to let that happen twice and let's see which one is it, is it this one So you have Kelly Taylor joining you this time for the NCR. How cool. I know. I have I have to tell you, I have a fantastic team this year. Um, I mean, my team is always fantastic, always. I know. Um, so it but you know, it's kind of fun when you have like some different people. And so um this year we've got Kelly Taylor, and she's teaching two coloring classes, um, one beginner, one kind of easy one, and one advanced one in the card cafe. And then we've got Laura Evangeline, Evangeline, I think is how she pronounces it. And she, I love Laura's work. Um, Me too. She does a lot of a lot of rainbows and things. I just, and I love her personality. Like we've chatted for the last couple of years on Instagram back and forth. And she's so funny. I just love her, but I love her work. And um, she's teaching a um, easy watercoloring class. Nice. And, uh, yes. And like, I, we're really excited about that one. And um, then she'll obviously be teaching at the Card Cafe. And everybody will be teaching something at the Card Cafe. So lots of fun. We've got a lot more 
make and takes planned this year um, than we've done in the past. And normally, just so people know what the card cafe is, it's like I used to be a teacher. So I'm all about exploring and people just putting their hands on things and trying things that maybe they've seen and they want to try that they've never done. So we always try to bring in like new things that are even catching our eyes in the industry or um, techniques that we want to try that maybe a lot of people haven't tried. And, um, and so it, it's everybody who comes to the retreat. It's one of their favorite things is the card cafe. And so we're still going to have those kinds of things, but we're adding in several, uh, uh, several more make and takes um, and, and combined with learning something new. So, um, or maybe new products in the industry. So um, that's what we're, we're doing more of that this year. And um, Laura Evangeline is teaching Kelly Taylor, uh, Andrea Shell, and everybody who's been the last two years, they know Andrea is like, she's like my crafty BFF and um, <laughs> she's teaching, I think two classes this year again, and she's fantastic. And we don't know exactly what she's doing. I know at least one of them. And then um, Tiffany Price Rusum, I think is how you pronounce her last name. So I never use anybody's last name, so I don't know how to pronounce them. And Tiffany's fantastic. She is teaching a class this year. She was on the team last year, but she she has never taught a class before. So she was a little worried about it. So we finally twisted her arm and she's teaching. This is fun. I'm really excited. Um, a mixed media class. And so we've never done a mixed media class like this before at the retreat. And so, you know, we're all we're technique driven. So um, she's doing a mixed media class and. Um, I'm excited about that. And then, of course, you have me and I'm teaching two classes. So just there's just so much this year. I don't know how we're ever going to be beat this year because I'm just so excited. I just can't even tell you. It's going to be epic. Seriously. I can't believe epic. Kelly Taylor's teaching. I would go. <laughs> you want to uh, I, me, tell you. I would go just to be with Kelly, just to take her class. Oh. And what about the rest of us? We're not Swiss cheese. <laughs> I know. People are really excited about Kelly, too. And so am I. Don't get me wrong. I know. For I sure. know. I know. I know it. What do you think? Okay. I like yours better. I love that. And you're already done. <laughs> <laughs> I always talk too much. No. Nope. So here's, Here's what I want. And see, this is where I get really ambitious. And especially in a live, I should not do this. What I really wanted to do was make this tag a shaker tag. I wanted to do that. Do What is going on today? I think we're both in each other's heads. <laughs> C-E-S-P. Great minds, oh, right? No. So anyway, that's what, so have you made a shaker out of this yet? With the ESP? No, I have not. I've made, I've been but, making And shakers. not with this die either? With this die, no, I have made one with the other tag. There's a few that I have tried with other tags. Actually, Sweta made some. Here you go. She did? <gasps> Look how cute. Oh, I can't even compete with that. So now <laughs> I'm not doing it. <laughs> see, that's why that's you should Sweta. never Let compare. Let me see that again. Show everybody that again because it's so cute. I quit. I'm done. I'm not <laughs> even doing anything now. I. This is the one cute. that I made with actually the same stencil that I was using. Oh, my gosh. That is so cute. I love those. Yep, I just I the same really stencil that. that I was uh, in. In this one, I used the flowers, and in my other shaker, I used the leaves from the stencil set. Okay, let's see what we want to do here. Let's see how brave we want to be. <laughs> you know what? I, I, my people are used to me messing up in a line, so so if I do, it's okay. You know, we'll be fine. I'm thinking. We'll use the like negative part. Ooh, now here's the problem. I need longer plates. I just realized for my Empress because um, they're just not long enough really for a slim line. But I'm going to put it in the middle. Let's see if we can get it in here. 
and um, I'll just position it according to my plates and we'll see how it goes, but maybe we'll do it and we'll use this negative part as the outside and then um, do it, do the shaker card that way, which is a little bit different. This will be the, this is what we call the easy way, I guess. You know, now that you mentioned negative, I'm going to do that too. <laughs> Just because okay. <laughs> you go ahead and do yours and I'll watch because now I don't want to. I, I don't want to be done yet. <laughs> okay, because I really can't. My mind is not working on this tonight the way I wanted to. So you do yours and everybody watch Ben do. <laughs> let me try to see what I'm doing here. Uh, I just die cut the word birthday with uh, this burgundy dark colored cardstock and I just layered two two layers I just have two layers I glued them together and I think I love Aaron's idea the drop shadow I think I'm gonna do the drop shadow like that I I'm kind of obsessed with drop shadows now you know what um, I've never done it so thank you I'm gonna this is this is gonna be my first drop shadow ever it really changes. We, I did it last week. Um, the topic of my live last week was um, how to use large focal point dies. And that's one thing we talked about, um, that a drop shadow with a large focal point, it just takes it to like a whole other level. That's awesome. Like I said, I would have never, I've never done it before, but it makes a big difference, especially when you have a lot going on in the background, yeah. which is you have the two foiled patterns. Yeah. Um, it helps kind of your eye doesn't know where to focus yeah. when you don't add something like that. I agree. This is really. I was almost done butchering my card, but you saved me. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Somebody said, it's it's like, oh, Brenda said it's her second year. I, I'm kind of jealous of you, Brenda. You get to go every year. <laughs> uh, see, uh, yeah, Brenda and Carol Hintermeyer. And um, we have several other people coming um, who are kind of influence, influencers and um, you'd know their names. So it, it's, it's fun. We have so much fun. It really is. We, um, you know, we have swag, we have giveaways. We like, I like snacks and candy. So we have lots of snacks and candy. Um, we have, oh, we're, we, we play games. We have the first night, if you go in the night before, we have a meet and greet. And um, we always have treats there too, but we play a meet and greet bingo, get to know you bingo. And the more boxes you check off, the, the more tickets you get. And we spin a wheel and, oh yeah, Sue's been there three times. Bonnie, this will be her third year. Um, it, it's so much fun. And I, like I said, this year, the, I'm so excited about um, one of the themes we have going, we, everybody loves to dress up. We, we have theme days and I tell you one, I am so excited about, but I'm, but I can't share it. So. <laughs> Here's my tag that I cut out. And that's, I didn't do a, see, I didn't do such a great job on that foiling. I got to work on my foiling for sure. Maybe, and maybe that's it. Maybe I had my meat machine too hot. That's why I think I should stop right here <laughs> and just <laughs> practice foiling. Because <laughs> now I'm, I'm upset about that my foil wasn't perfect on there. Because yours came out like perfectly. So... I did the make two, my... and I had it at setting um, three also. So just to bring it back, I have it on setting three. I just ran it through um, the mink carrier sheet, my uh -huh. ESP, and the foil on top. And I didn't even do the dusty. I should try that next time. But uh, Brenda, thank you. I love that comment. I love it. She said she went to another oh. one last year. And it didn't even compare. And I know what she's talking about. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Brenda. But we won't say, we won't say in public, but thank you, Brenda. I know. I, I was it. already jealous of you, Brenda. Now you go and say that and you get to go three times. <laughs> you get to go every year. <clears throat> 
I'm a, I'm gonna have to like maybe disguise and sneak in, Aaron. <laughs> Um, I think you're welcome to come if you want to come. I have always had a rule in the past that like vendors couldn't come, but everybody wants to come. So I'm not going to like turn anybody away anymore. I've decided <laughs> everybody needs to come because it's fun. Um, let's see. I'm going to use this cute rainbow sparkly one since we're doing rainbows. And... Um, because now I, I want to perfect my foiling skills, so. <laughs> Love it. Okay, so I'm gonna do negative foiling just because you said it, okay? Yes. You said it and you set me up, so I'm gonna do it. And I don't have, are you using the toner, the toner sheet? I am, I'm using the toner from ThermoWeb, yes. Okay, show everybody that because I don't I don't have those. Okay, I'm gonna and show I it. And I saw you anyway. use those the other day, and I love when you do like the double triple foiling. Yeah, that was cool. I will share. So these are the toner sheets from ThermoWeb. Um, if you have been throwing away the negative foil, this is a game changer. All I did, well, I'll show you. I'll do a demo, but I cut out a uh oh there it is here's my cut to size one so i simply took this toner sheet this is a full a4 size toner eight and a half by 11. i simply cut it out to size so that i can foil it so now i'm gonna simply do this one it's exactly the same process i am going to run this through the laminator just like we did with the ESP, the original, the positive. So I'm going to just simply run it through. My mink is still going. I'm going to just pass it through and I'm going to take it to my die cut machine um, to just give it a good go on the die cut machine for pressure, for good measure, right? <laughs> oh, I love that rainbow sparkle foil. Love it. It's pretty, isn't it? Love it, love it white polyglazed sheets yes i have not tried the gina k polyglazed sheets i have not tried those i will be honest that is something that's on my to-do list i have to try those have you tried them erin i have not those are the gina k ones right yes no yes i have not. no i have not so i am just running this through the mink and I'm just going to be right back after I run it through the die cut machine. Bonnie, you know, I'm going to give it my best shot. Sometimes it's like, it's so slow. You want it to just, you want to hurry it up. <laughs> it, it's like, come on. I don't know if I'm fast enough running it through my, my dye machine. So here is my negative and I'm peeling off the plastic. There we go. Here is my negative foiled sheet. Oh, I need that, that foil because that is so stunning it is it is really pretty gorgeous okay so now i'm gonna cut out my tag just because erin said she wanted to do this i'm gonna beat her to it <laughs> okay go ahead i'm okay with that <gasps> i did it i did it did it work it came out perfectly that time it's okay setting oh my three God. You were right. Oh, goodness. Look at that. Oh, that is amazing. Love it. Setting three did it. That's beautiful. Look at that pretty rainbow. Oh, my word. I love that. Love it. Looks it is gorgeous. And it came out. It foiled complete. It's absolutely perfect. Why don't I zoom this back out? I was coloring my bird and I forgot. Sometimes my camera is a pain and it doesn't want to zoom out. 
Let's zoom in and then zoom out. There we go. Look. Ooh, look how pretty that is. I can't Bonnie. believe how pretty that is. Look at that. Yes, Bonnie, that's exactly what it was. I thought the higher the heat, the better, but no. So the three is definitely the way to go. See, Bindu, we needed to have a crafty session together so you could help me. We do. Okay, now look at that. That looks so much better. That looks better because you have the darker background. Yes. Now. For sure. Now we're talking. Okay. So now I'll do the opposite because I'm just going to copy you. <laughs> I'll have the light background and now I'll do a dark one. <laughs> oh, I love it, love it, love it. <laughs> That's what I should do. Let's see. Let me think. Okay. I'll cut my tag out. Okay, I can't help myself. Well, that's see, I, I, you have to have, you have to zhuzh it up. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> that is it exactly it. That is exactly Zhuzhing. it. Zhuzhing makes every, because more is more is what I always say. Absolutely. And zhuzhing, everything needs to be judged a little. I, it, it, yes, I can't help myself. Sorry, I got to do it. I got to do it. Well, you're kind of carrying me right now. So <laughs> you go. <laughs> Love it. And you have you gotta have dimension. <laughs> this is a lot better. Who's that one? Ian. <laughs> Thanks, Ian. I knew you were a good friend. <laughs> I agree with you. Bind is, is a lot better because she's at least gotten stuff done, right? <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so funny. Okay. Ooh, look, that's so pretty. I love it. Oh my God, I can't believe I do. Love Those it. ESPs are fantastic. And don't you have the one I don't think you had was the Valentine's one. Don't you have a Valentine's ah, pack yes. right now too? That's the one I didn't get to show. You're right. I know that you have to show that one because I love Andrea is, well, we didn't say that Andrea is on my team and she's on your team now too. I know when you and were talking about her earlier, I almost said something, but I didn't want to, you know, cut you off. So she is amazing. She and even Brenda, she post Brenda posted a card with this pattern. Um, she made an interactive card. She posted a card with this pattern. Oh my goodness, that one, it's on the blog. But oh my goodness, Brenda, that one is such an amazing card. So this is the last one that I missed earlier. This one everything they both do is fantastic. I know. So um and Aaron posted one with this pattern too, and this cute little piggy from the hogs and kisses set. Andrea did. Yes, oh, Andrea, Andrea, Andrea. Yes. Andrea. Yes. Yes. She did. Yeah. I, what did I say? I'm I'm I guess it you said me. Yeah. <laughs> because I, I can't even it. do a live. So. <laughs> I think you're on my mind. <laughs> Oh, shoot. Uh, so this is the one. This is the set that Andrea used. And also, as I said, um, Brenda used this one on her latest card on the blog. Yes, Irene. I know your card was amazing with that one, too. Your um, card with the pattern that uh, Aaron is using now. That one is an awesome one, too, Irene. I love that one. Oh, I don't know if I saw that one. Yes, it is adorable. It. I don't have you posted it on the blog yet, Irene? Your card? Oh, Brenda's blushing. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> uh, Brenda, we love you. Oh my gosh, Brenda does beautiful work. If you do not follow my paper cut creations, that's Brenda's page. Actually, I use Brenda's card as an example of like a perfect card on my live last week. Ooh. Um, she was. I, I had messaged her and said, can I use your card? Because it is the perfect example of like everything I wished I had done. And so um, 
she was gracious gracious enough to let me do that and and it was it was a beautiful card um so yes i always um notice brenda's work do you know, you know that i have sorry aaron didn't mean to talk over you do you know ahead. that i have never met brenda in person Oh my gosh, she's as beautiful on the inside oh, as she is on the outside. She is the best. I have known Brenda for like three and a half years now, and I have never met her. I hope I can change oh that this gosh. year, Brenda. Hint, hint. <laughs> hint, hint. <laughs> hint, hint. Well, I, I know exactly where you can meet her. <laughs> I know, hint, hint. <laughs> I know exactly. Do you need the dates again, Bindu? Mark it on your calendar. Oh, I know. I thought you weren't even going to let me in, but now that you're opening the doors a little bit. I think I have to. <laughs> I mean, what are we going to do, right? So now i got to call all the other vendors that I've told them they can't come, and it, it'll be a party. <laughs> hey, I tell you what, this is the first year that it's been a little bit i think it has to do with the economy and a lot of there's so many virtual retreats and stuff actually i hate to admit it but seats have not filled up this year by this time last year we were sold out sold out and i had a waiting list of like 20 people and this year we're not sold out yet um so you know it's just you know with the economy and all these other things going on um you just you have to you have to be flexible right so you, you know well hey i will tell you i love it i'm not going to complain if you open it up and let me in. <laughs> you come on just come on it's may 29th is the meet and greet and then we start crafting on the 30th so oh, and you goodness. know sweta came last year and she's not registered this year Sweta came last year. I almost thought she was going to pick you again over me. I told her, you can't do that. <laughs> I said, girly, so, you need to stick with me. <laughs> no, she, but she just came and she came. Oh my gosh, her family. We loved her family. We met her kids and her husband. Aww. They're a beautiful family. We, oh my gosh. Just love them dearly. Oh, they are so amazing. And Sweta is my, yeah. I always say this, my partner in crime, my right hand at this point. <laughs> oh, she is. She's fantastic. So, oh, but yeah. she's not coming this year. So if you come, you'll have to bring her then too, right? I, I know. You're like, this time, neither one of you can come alone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You have to come with each other's. Oh, look how pretty this one is. Oh and I got it. It was the heat. I had the heat too high. You did because great. Look, it's coming out perfectly. Look at now. that. Goodness. Wow. That one is pretty. Now I'm going to do what I haven't tried. Can I ink over this? Is it okay to ink yes. over it once it's foiled? Yes. Okay. Here's what we're going Go to do. Go for it. Okay. Um, let me see. Brenda, and I you, hope you do. I can't wait to meet you, see you in person. Let me see. I'm looking for, I think I want to use my black soot. Um, I could do memento, but I'd like to do black soot, I think. Hold on, let me see. Don't look at my, I hope you can't see my yoga pants. I'm wearing my painter yoga pants. So <laughs> don't, like, don't there, worry. There's a big white paint splat right on my behind. So We can't see we'll you if you don't tell us, we won't even know. <laughs> okay. Well, now you know, darn. We, I'll just slide back in easily. Okay. I'm looking for... I'll just use memento here. And I think I have a brush that's already got black on it. Let's see. I might have a black Catherine Puller ink pad 
and that would make this a lot easier going direct um, ink to paper. Oh, look at that. Love it. Yeah. Okay, look, I got to stop because otherwise we'll both be here like feeding off of each other. <laughs> See? And we'll keep going because it's already 8.05. Normally I'm like, oh, it's 8 o'clock. We're done. <laughs> I know. Look at me. I'm still going too. But yes, I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. Well, I figured since you already made two things, I should. Well, no, you have to finish that one with those cute sprigs. I want to see that one. Yep. I'm about to look. Do uh, you think I have enough foam? To... <laughs> I think you're good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's what I've been doing. You're over there sweating and like making all these beautiful things. And I'm over here just gluing paper. <laughs> <laughs> that's the thing. I, I, I am not good with all the little things fiddly bits like don't give me a die cut that has all kinds of little things and don't expect me to put a whole bunch of foam tape on the back of something because <laughs> i don't have the patience for that i just don't i am channeling it, my inner laura bass and dimension is life <laughs> oh does she use uh, well seriously like i love the dimension i pop everything up <laughs> but it's not going to make it through the mail very very well let's just say that nope it won't I do not, I can't stand spending a lot of time adding a bunch of foam, foam tape. So a couple pieces and it's good, you know? Yep. Okay. I really only needed a small area because that birthday is all I need to die cut. Let's see how this looks. Ooh, that does work perfectly. Okay. My tag is not going anywhere near the mail. Look, I'm gonna hang over all over the edges. It's not going anywhere near the mail. <laughs> Okay, here's my birthday. Now, what did I do? So let's do it going this way. I haven't been looking at the chat. What's going on? <laughs> let's look. Love that big birthday. <laughs> oh, Bonnie's right. See, I told you more is more. And so you took my advice to add foam tape. <laughs> this is true, There's Bonnie. Two. This is true. So I, I messaged Bonnie today because do you have any pets? I don't know. No pets. Well, we're kind of crazy pet people. So I've already got three dogs. I hope my mom's not listening because my mom will say, you don't need another dog. <laughs> um, we've got three. We have uh, an almost a hundred pound lab because he started to get fat. Um, so he, Hagrid's on a diet. He's a chocolate pound lab or a chocolate lab. And he's almost a hundred pounds. And then we've got two miniature dachshunds. And they, um, one's Oscar and one's Cooper. And um, I messaged Bonnie today because Bonnie's got a miniature dachshund. She's a dachshund lover. And someone who works with my husband is buying a miniature dachshund from here in Nashville. And they had one puppy left. So I almost thought we were going to get a new dog today. But he was already sold. So we lucked out. Ah. Uh. But so unfortunately, we do not have a third because, you know, wiener dogs are kind of like potato chips. You can't have just one. <laughs> um, so once again, more is more when it comes to weenie dogs. Um, so we've got two and I thought we were going to have three, but no such luck today. Oi, okay. I, you're like, oh, I don't have any pets. That's too I much. do not. My kids would love it if I got some 
uh, any any kind of pets. But I told them if you're gonna, t- I've I've done enough babysitting for a while now, <laughs> and my kids are like, so young. You know, <laughs> I have a business to run, and I can't take care of another human being another baby a baby yes i can't yeah. I, I can't right. right now just can't okay so i i took bindu's cue and i thought well she did the dark background and i'll do the light background. i love it so i think i need a drop shadow too because it just i don't know i man i really i'm going to figure out doing a shaker card with it for sure at some point because i think a shaker and then putting the birthday on top would be really cute like that's what i was thinking it we would do it, right <clears throat> it would I, yes you should definitely try it it would i might not finish it while we're on but i definitely want to how i would do it just for anybody who was wondering I would definitely cut out just a rectangle with this. And you can use your trimmer or use um, a knife and a T-square. I'm thinking. You could also whenever- use, use a frame die. Sorry, go ahead. Aaron. Yes, it, but I, I didn't have one from you, and so I didn't want to grab someone else's. Do you have one that w- that fits this perfectly to do it? It does. Uh, yes, we do, actually. This one's from the fra- mini slimline frame-worthy die. Oh. See, and that's I how that I did too. mine. Okay. I was, the one I was sharing that's how I did this one. So all I did was I took this middle, the smallest layer, and mm-hmm. I die cut it right from inside the tag. Oh, so you have a mini slimline. I love mini slimline cards too. Yep. So I just I need that one, one too. to cut it out. Okay, I see. So see, that is much easier because I don't like using these and my knife wasn't working. So I'm not going to do that. I'm trying to find another idea Sweta had. I did not quite finish that one, but maybe I can show it. So that one, we simply did a um, the, the word cut out right from on top of the tag and just glue the acetate on the back. So then the word would be cut out. The window will sh- still show through. Uh-huh. And you can actually glue the word to the backer. If you're going to do a, sh- a see-through shaker, just glue the word to the backer. Try that, Erin, with yours. Why don't you? In- that's it. You could do an infinity. You could yes. do an infinity shaker that way or an infinity card. Um, that would be fantastic. Absolutely. That would be the easy kind of way to do that for sure. I love it. Yep, that is definitely a good way to do that. I will try to find it and maybe post a picture of it or something. Yes, I love it. <clears throat> okay, I think I'm done. I'm not going to mess with it anymore. This one's okay, good. Okay, good. Okay, then I'm done too. <laughs> <laughs> Making a shadow and then we'll be done. Because I don't know if my little birds, my little birds won't go as well with this. When I originally, I'll show you what I was originally thinking. I did just create a drop shadow. I was just going to make one in white. Um, oh, I like that. Like that. I mean, you can't see it very well. If you could see it up close, it definitely does make a difference. Um, just when you have a, a busy background, you need something to kind of offset and help your eyes know exactly where to focus. So that help that would help with that. That's where the drop shadows make a big difference. And then when you add like you did with the dimension and you pop it up, that makes it even better. So, but what I had thought in the beginning, before I got off on all these tangents and just trying to perfect my <laughs> my um, oh, tag, my my foiling is this is why I originally colored these birds this way because I thought they would coordinate. I picked the other colors we had in here, and I had thought, and I'll still finish this one. I'll finish it and then post it off camera or whatever. Um, That's why I had colored these the way that I did, because I thought they'd be really cute with this birthday. So that That was my thought process. Yeah, those would look cute. That would be really cute. Yep. 
You'll see oh, that. Oh, look at that. There. That would be cute with like the little birds too. So, because there's really cute sentiments that you, I thought you could add with this that's in that, that um, set. Right? Yes. That looks really, really good. I love it. I thought it. that would be cute. Yes. I love it. I love it. Okay. Are, are we done? Do we are. I am actually done. This never happens, but I actually finished my project. <laughs> See, and I never do. So I'm just right on track. <laughs> so I am good. I just finished mine. Um, I love that with the little, what is that dye that you used? The little sprigs and behind it. This one is olive leaf. I love that one. I love, yeah. I love a good like foliage dye. Yeah, and I just die cut it from vellum. I usually keep some extras on hand. I cut out uh, extras from vellum and I just had them on hand. So I just decided to add them on for good measure. I love it. <laughs> so that's all I did. Um, do we, you're going to post your card, um, your tag when you're done. Yes. <laughs> I will post a picture of this. We have to document all the fun that we had. I am also going to pick, I think we're losing people like uh, it's getting late at night. I'm going to pick one winner. Is that okay by you, Erin? Ooh, are you doing a giveaway? I am. I'm I gonna love give that. Away. Yes. Yay. That's gonna fantastic. Do one. We're going to pick one winner. We're going to do it Erin's way. I love your method, by the way. Old school. <laughs> Old school. I don't care, but it's perfect. It works great. So I'm going to pick one winner. Everybody who is still here, please pick a number between 1 and 100 and put it in the comments. I will pick a winner. Oh, actually, Siri will pick a winner. And we're going to give away a $15 gift card to one lucky winner. Let's pick a winner. Yay. We still have some people. I thought we were losing people. It's getting late on my co my East Coast, my time here. These are the diehards. They deserve a giveaway. <laughs> if they're still on here, they're, they deserve it, don't you They think? do. They do deserve it. Okay, so last chance. I'm going to wait for one more second, and then we're going to ask our friend, our machine friend, to pick a number. Okay, everybody, let's see. Hey Siri, pick a number between 1 and 100. The answer is 53. Oh my God, I think somebody did 53. The answer is 53, Siri said. Did somebody pick 53? Closest without going over. There's a 43. Oh, Anne picked 54. 54. 54, Anne. There's a, Elizabeth Bomber picked 43. Did anybody else get closer than I think 43? 50. 54 is over, but I think 43 might be the closest, right? Yep. I think that's it. Elizabeth Bomber, I think. Elizabeth, congratulations. Yay, that's fantastic. Yes, congratulations. Please, please email me at info at craftymaraki.com and I will set you up with a $15 gift card. I hope you can try out the ESPs. So please get in touch with me. Yay. Yay! Yay! Congratulations oh, and happy 54. birthday. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Bindu. This was so much fun. We need to do this more often. We should do this more often. I'm going to bug you now. I'm going to be. I uh, love it. Erin, let's do it. Erin, where are you? Okay. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all in. As long as you never expect me to finish a project. <laughs> no, no, no. Is it, look, you, you kept me going. Look, mine was about to go in the dump and in the trash can, but you saved it. <laughs> no, we can always save everything, right? And you know what? That's what it's like. Sometimes we look at it ourselves Mm -hmm. And we don't know what's wrong with it. And I used to do that with my sister all the time. I would message her and I'd say, what's wrong with this? And she would always tell me right away. Um, she has the best artistic eye. And she is the one who kind of taught me like about the drop shadows and focal points. And, um, you know, and it really got me on the tangent about learning about the concepts of art or design concepts and mm. um you know, all the things about art and it really makes a difference in your card making mm -hmm. when you understand those things. It 
it, it just helps you look at it in a whole different way. And she was always really good about that. So it's always good to have someone tell you, tell you, be honest with you and tell you what you, <laughs> what's wrong with it. Right. <laughs> Absolutely. I know I could use that. So thank you. Yes. Well, this I had such a good time. Me too. This was amazing. We should definitely do it again. And we should also definitely hint, hint, see each other soon. <laughs> <laughs> well, I am going to see you in April anyway. Yes, you um, are. You are going to see me in April. Absolutely. I can't wait. I know. And so then again in May. How about and that? <laughs> I love it. I love that. Okay. Right. It's, it's a plan. Well, thank you. And thanks, everybody, for sticking with us. I had so much fun, Bindu. Thank you. Me too. Thank you, everyone, for being here. Thank you, Erin. Good night. Thanks for crafting with me. Bye, everybody. Bye.